The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here to tell you that the Stoner Jesus Show is moving our live time for the show. Starting on September 9th, 2016, you can join us for Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus live on CannabisRadio.com. That's 9916, live on CannabisRadio.com, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Morning radio will never be the same. Come Wake and Bake with me, 9916, on CannabisRadio.com. St. Peter speaking on behalf of Pot for Tots. Oh, yeah, what's this? Oh, yeah, Pot for Tots. Pot for Tots is, is a great, a great, a great charity. You know, if, uh, if assholes and douchebags have their way, there's not going to be any pot or weed when the kids grow up and not have anything to smoke. That's bullshit. But we here at Pot for Tots, well, we want to save Mary Jane. So we know all the kids being born now are babies now. And life's going to suck when they get older. And they're going to need some weed to smoke. So please consider making a donation to Pot for Tots. 1-888-POT-TOTS. That's 1-888-POT-TOTS. Pot for Tots. Where will the Tots get their marijuana in the future? If we don't do something now. Huh? I'm asking you a question, motherfucker. Where's the pot going to come from? I wish you would fall off of a cliff and fall on your... This show is a well-oiled machine. Pizzas shaped like penises. That's gold, son. CannabisRadio.com presents... The Stoner Jesus Show. Fucking Christ. Stern Jesus Show Podcast, August 22nd, 2016, according to live on CannabisRadio.com. Of course, you can find the podcast on CannabisRadio.com, SternJesus.net, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, and YouTube. Big show tonight, The Porn Report. Yes, that's right. Also, some weed news, some other interesting shit. From around the internet, including comfy balls. No, stick around for all that. <laughs> I'm on Twitter at SternJesus420. Tweet me a link to the show whenever, however, wherever you are listening, you will get a retweet. You can email the show, SternJesus420 at gmail.com. Send prayers, hate mail, questions, whatever. You're on Facebook. You're a hardcore fan of the show. You want to chat with other fans of the show. Search Disciples of Stoner Jesus on Facebook. That's Disciples of Stoner Jesus. Seek and ye shall find and whatnot. Got some voicemails coming up. Clean one from St. Peter. Of course, exiled from the show. He's, uh... He's, uh, I don't want to say he's making a threat, but he's kind of making a threat. I'll play it, and you can decide. If you think so as well. I did mention the show is now on YouTube. Go check that out. Our YouTube's linked on SternJesus.net. As is most of our social media networks. I think there's some that's not on there. Uh, you know. 
What are you going to do? I'm on like 20 of them. I can't get to all of it. I know our SoundCloud's not up there. We got some classic shit on there. Eh. Just can't bring myself to worry about it. Got so much going on. Two things in particular. Two huge things going on with the show right now. You heard one of them in the beginning with the promo. Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus is coming at 9, 9, 16. Friday mornings, you'll be able to Wake and Bake with us live two hours every week. Maybe expanding to more in that than that in the future, but for now, it'll be Friday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, starting September 9th, 2016 on CannabisRadio.com. Podcast will be found on all the other, uh, all the other platforms that you're used to. You know and love, of course. Just the time for the live show will be changing. Don't know yet. The two hours may be on like CanvasRadio.com and iTunes and iHeart. If it'll be split up into two parts, an hour apiece, I'm not sure yet. But what I put on SternJesus.net and what goes to YouTube and Stitcher, that'll be a two hour block. Big fat two hour block. <laughs> Starting 9916. Be awesome. Basically, you know, the same show, a little bit of tweaks. We're going to throw in some rotating segments, some regular guests. Um, hope to make it your Friday morning habit. Your coffee and your weed and your stoner Jesus show. That's the plan, anyway. We'll see. <laughs> the other big news going on in the Stoner Jesus show. By the way, there's a Wake and Bake page on stonerjesus.net with a countdown. All that stuff. There's also. The Stoner Jesus Show Toker Giveaway. Toker Supply Giveaway. Tokersupply.com, damn it. Damn it! I'll try that again. I'm not live or anything. The Stoner Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway. Page on StarJesus.net. Go check that out. Tokersupply.com has been good enough to give us all kinds of stuff for a giveaway. There's two prize packs, there's two ways to win. It's just, it's big. It's fucking, I don't know. What's bigger than big? It's it's large. It's humongous. John Chambers in the chat room says, I can hardly wait for Wake and Bake with SJ. Now I'll never have to talk to my family. Exactly. Exactly. you got to provide a service. That's what gets people to listen. Providing a service. That's what we do here at the Standard Jesus Show. <laughs> but Doker Supply... Dot com. They're awesome. Free U.S. shipping. All that shit. Check out the Stoner Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway page on SternJesus.net. There's a gas mask water pipe. There's a Rasta water pipe. There is a rollable. It's like the silicone water pipe that you can fold up and take with you. And then there's like a triple perk uh, water pipe. Just awesome shit. Like I said, two prize packs. packs two ways to enter. <laughs> I'm excited, damn it. So go check it out. And I put videos. There's videos on YouTube and Facebook and just... I retweet this shit all the time on Twitter. There's no getting away from it. There's no getting away from it. I'm all up in your ass with two things. I'm fitting two things up there. First is Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus starting 9-9-16. Live on CanvasRadio.com. The second thing is I'm fitting four prizes up your ass from TokerSupply.com. When I'm done with your ass, it'll be unrecognizable. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Stoner Jesus Show podcast. Like I said, the porn report coming up a little bit later. Uh, behind the scenes of a porno. I mean, I guess that's interesting. Ten best porns. I don't know. Let's see if I agree with this list. Actually, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you 99% of the porns ever made. I know a select few. But we'll see. We'll see if they make the list. Weed news later tonight. Uh, news from Nevada, Arizona, California, Connecticut. All kinds of shit going on. But first, to the voicemails. This first person left a 15-second voicemail. I believe they may have been high. I can guarantee this. I also believe uh, that they are lamenting the loss of Hammurabi. Did I spell say his name? Hamabre? Hammuraba? <laughs> the gorilla. They got shot in the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, so this is this dude's voicemail. Yo, man. They killed uh, Harambe. 
Harambe? I think they just killed him. R.I.P. Harambe. R.I.P. Harambe. Is that was that his name? What did I say? Harambe? Harambe? Haram- Haramba? <laughs> Why do they give gorillas such difficult names? Why couldn't his name be Tim or John? Sal. Sal the bear got shot at the Disney Zoo. Harambe? I don't know. Damn it. As promised, a voicemail from St. Peter. God, this is such a long backstory now. I'll give you the, the bullet points. Late June, the Brexit thing happened, so I'd made up Spexit, which was a Twitter poll, to get people to vote St. Peter off the ship. They did so at 61%. Although the, uh, the, the turnout was quite low. <laughs> Inexplicably, <laughs> and St. Peter was kicked off the show. He was exiled from the Standard Jesus Studio complex and forced on his own. Since then, he's been leaving voicemail after voicemail because he can't come on the premises. And he's been in jail a couple times. He's uh, interrupted a hate group softball league game night. There's all kinds of stuff going on. He's lived with various people. Uh, he's still in the process of trying to become a black man. It's all just kind of convoluting together in multiple storylines nobody really cares about anymore, and yet we persist. So St. Peter left another voicemail. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, the Hate Group Softball League Championship game, we're going to broadcast live from it Friday night, August 26, 2016. It's season six of the Hate Group Softball League. Big, big time. we got uh, the KKK, the Black Panthers, and uh, the, the Stockholm Syndrome chicks from Boko Haram and Africa. They're all killing it. There's only three teams this year that were worth a damn, so we're going to put them together in some kind of three-way softball thingamajigger, and we're going to get this shit done. So that'll be Friday night. The St. Peter in here uh, is apparently threatening in his way to show up at the game and cause some problems, some tomfoolery, get into some shenanigans, if you will. Here's St. Peter's voicemail. Oh, man, Jesus, that uh, foreign chick answers a voice more well whatever. Man, she sounds so hot. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't know, there's like the 5,000 fucking voice when I left. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, I heard you got that uh, the hate group uh, softball league championship thing going on. Friday night, I might not be able to get on to the, the, the Star Genius Studio Complex. Uh... <laughs> Into the Star of Jesus Studio Complex, but I can get it down to that fucking game, man. So I'm gonna see you there, right? I forgot I'm trying to transition into a black guy. Uh, look, dog, I'm gonna be there Friday night. Me and my posse's gonna be there. You best be ready to like step up or whatever. And, uh, you know, so now you're gonna be there. So, sup? Sup? You know? Sup? 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 Yeah, I think that's about all I got. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you Friday night, mother, motherfucker. Mother, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm drinking a lot, but I'm, I'm serious, man. Friday motherfucking night. It's on, like, the, the game. The monkey with the fucking barrels used to throw the fucking barrels, man. I'm sorry, it's gonna be throwing. I'm, it's gonna be like I'm throwing barrels at you, motherfucker. You're gonna have no idea. What the fuck was the name of that game? God damn it. Anyway, fuck you, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like I'm throwing barrels at you, motherfucker. The St. Peter quote. The game you think he was thinking of, of course, is Donkey Kong. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. The answer we were looking for was Donkey Kong. Stern Digital Show Podcast, August 22nd, 2016. Got the porn report coming up. <laughs> Although, I don't know how we can follow that. But we'll try. We're live on CanvasRadio.com. The, running to the end of the night shows. The last night show will be September 2nd. Wake and Bake with Stern Jesus starts September 9th. Big things. Going on. Details and all that shit. If you missed any of the things I said, don't worry about it. I write it all down and put it on sternjesus.net. Gotta make it easy. 
I write all my shit down. I can follow all this if I didn't write it down. <laughs> we'll be back, Dick Nuggets. Stay tuned. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here again to tell you about an awesome sponsor of the show. Of course, I'm talking about Pottles. Check out the Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net. They have all kinds of products. Pinner tubes, blunt tubes, they have glass, they have odor-free stash containers and all kinds of different sizes and colors and designs. They have uh, tablers. Just so many products. I can't fit them onto a commercial. Just go click that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net. Make sure you use promo code STONERJESUS. It's all capital letters, all one word. Stoner Jesus at checkout at Pottles for 20% off. Go check out all of the amazing products Pottles has to offer. Check out that Pottles banner on stonerjesus.net and make sure you use that promo code Stoner Jesus. Get 20% off at Pottles. From dabs to chivas, sativas to indicas, we roll out a whole concentrate of fresh new content every week. It's like going from the greenhouse to the dispensary. CannabisRadio.com The Stoner Jesus Show is brought to you in part by Hemptations.com and PlanetEverywhere.com. they got a lot of awesome stuff for you to check out. But don't just take my word for it. Let Beach, the owner of Hemptations, tell you all about it. It's a very large selection of hemp goods. Everything from reusable coffee filters to frisbees, bandanas, everything planted everywhere on the site is made in Cincinnati, Ohio, made locally. We also have other retail products from our cosmetics, uh, earthly body product, bags on the retail site. You know, again, uh, anybody local in Cincinnati can go to Hemptations.com and get the info on the stores. Planted everywhere is our .com is our retail site. You can hit me up on Hemptation Beach or like my Facebook page, Hemptations or Hemptations 2. I'm on Twitter, Google, <laughs> I'm on the internet everywhere, just like everyone. Um, you know, we love to hear from people all over the world, positive things about industrial hemp. That's what I do. That's what we do. Largest selection of industrial hemp on the planet in the stores. And I'd like to grow that inventory to be able to say that I haven't actually checked out all the other hemp retail spots to see if we have the largest amount on our planet everywhere but uh, it's a it's a fair it's a fair selection and as beach always says having temptations <sighs> cash sorry i don't carry around cash and i don't want to use the atm and pay surcharges you don't need to carry cash haven't you heard about pay quick okay tell me about pay quick it's the safe and easy way to pay it works just like your debit card to securely pay for your purchase and gives you rewards points every time you use it. Nice. Pay quick. The safe and easy way to pay. P A Y Q W I C K dot com. The political climate is at a fever pitch, and the fight for the social fabric of America is set for battle this November. Tuesday, November 8th, the Cannabis Liberation Movement takes a huge step forward, and Cannabis Radio is here to chronicle this legendary moment. CannabisRadio.com and the Cannabis Radio News Team will feature wall-to-wall -wall live coverage of all the coast-to-coast -coast voting of state amendments, ballots, propositions, and initiatives that will further progress the Cannabis Crusade. Join us Thursday, November 8th for Vote 2016. The path to cannabis freedom, only on CannabisRadio.com. The cannabis business industry is growing, business is booming, and as new opportunities arise in newly legalized states, each market is getting more competitive. Today, it takes more than just being a good grower. Do you have the resources to market and handle this ever-changing business landscape? Let Canna Management Corporation help you grow your canna business with our vast resources and experience to make your business a fully functional service company. Financial management, HR, sales, marketing, efficiency, and more. CMC has the experience and the expertise to improve your business and help you better meet the demands of your clients and customers. Call Canna Management Corporation and let our team get you ready to grow. 415-269-8015. That's 415-269-8015. Or visit canna-management.com. 
Tommy Chong Show on Cannabis Radio. You know about this podcast. What I really want to do from now on is to solve world problems. I feel like my job is to calm everybody down and focus on how we can save this planet. The Tommy Chong Podcast, only on CannabisRadio.com. Welcome to my world. world, world. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Stern Jesus Show Podcast, August 22nd, 2016. What up, Biatches? Dodman Podcast, joining us in the chat room on Spreaker. We're live on CanvasRadio.com. Podcast, of course, SternJesus.net, CanvasRadio.com, and our many other platforms, including iHeartRadio and iTunes. It's time now for the Porn Report. Interesting stuff going on in the world of porn. That's really there always is. HuffingtonPost.com. This top 10 best porn films list may arouse controversy. These films actually have stories as well as sex. That's a downer. It's a list compiled by Paul Fishbein. 1983, Fishbein co created adult video news, a business magazine about the adult film industry. The goal of the magazine was to report on the porn biz the same way Variety and Hollywood Reporter reported on showbiz. He sold the magazine in 2010, but still maintains an interest. In film fornication. I've heard this dude quite a few times on Howard Stern back in the day. He has a list of 10 movies. This so list starts at number one and goes to 10 instead of going from 10 to 1. I'm not sure why. That seems sort of anticlimactic, if you will. Number one, a 1981 film called Nothing to Hide. Fishbine says 1981 is Nothing to Hide is the best porn film of all, all time because it has good acting. And a sweet romance that has never been duplicated in a sex flick. <laughs> I wonder why that is. <clears throat> it was winner of nine erotica awards, including Best Picture. Uh, adult Film World called it the Picture of the Year. Best Adult Picture of the Year said Bruce Williamson of Playboy. High praise indeed. Number two, the opening of Misty Beethoven. <laughs> there you go. It's considered groundbreaking for the way it incorporated sex into a story. But really? It's like groundbreaking? It's like they, you know, they come to a point where they want to fuck. Number three is Scoundrels from 1982. It was the winner. It was the first ever winner of the AVN Best Picture Award. Fucking racking up the, the accolades. Number four, The New Devil and Miss Jones. 2005 remake of a 1973 porn classic. <clears throat> improves on the original by removing the suicide part of the plot. <laughs> That's kind of a downer. A boner killer. Here's going along, everything's fine, and then bam! Suicide! Stars uh, Jenna Jameson. Hell yeah, man. She was hot back in the day. Number five, Blonde Ambition. Combines the innocence of 1940s MGM backstage musicals with hardcore porn. All right. Number six is Fallen from 2008. It makes a cut because star Jessica Drake manages to have sex in every type of possible combination while still giving a great acting performance as an angel stuck in purgatory. Wow, okay. I might want to have to see that. I might, I might want to have to see that. <laughs> Number seven, Corruption from 2006. Uh, touches on issues like First Amendment rights <laughs> and freedom of expression while still having lots of hot sex. Yes. Yes, there you go. You're having sex and <laughs> talk about the First Amendment. Oh, man. That's, <laughs> that's the way you reach the, you reach the youth. <laughs> the youths of America, the college kids. 
put into porn. Number eight, roommates from 1981. Well, 1981 was a good year for porn. It attempted to reach mainstream Americans. Uh, Fishbine says the first porn to be done from a woman's perspective. Mm, I don't know about that. Number nine is Fashionistas. Uh, holds the record for most AVN film nominations, 22 in all. I bet a lot of this from like cinematography and screenwriting and shit, but still. Uh, Pirates from 2005. It was the first porn film with a million dollar budget. <laughs> Holy shit. Fishbine said the level of special effects and production values as well as the sex caught everyone by surprise. Well, I should say so. <laughs> Maybe I should have had a cameo from Johnny Depp. Uh, next, next story is from HuffingtonPost.com as well. Behind the scenes in a porno. It's a video, obviously. Check that shit out. Sound on? Sound on? Yes, I'll take my pencil. And I'm wrong. Uh, uh, for me, please. It's now become such a normal thing, I suppose, to me. Um, I think the first time I was ever on set and there were people having sex, I don't think I ever found it weird. Um, I used to find the weirdest thing I found was how normal everyone was and all the normal conversations you have even when people are naked and all that that's going on. Uh, action! This is a little bit. There's like 15 people standing around him holding the equipment and big ass cameras. <laughs> that's gotta be fucked up. I mean, my family have all been okay with it. There's certain people that I haven't mentioned it because they're a bit older and they don't really like my grand. Yeah. Grandma, I hold the boom mic for porn videos. The porno movies, the guy that gets the audio, that's me, holds the big fuzzy mic over the guy while he's fucking this bra on their ass. Yes, that's me. We're on set, we have quite an early set. Nailed that fucking accent, by the way. An impression. Bam! That's what, that's what you pay me for. Start and um, I'm normally panicking about various things like the order. Oh, Graham, this one guy, he splooged all over her face. I nailed the fucking audio and Johnny, he nailed the video. It was a really great day. <laughs> shooting like today where I don't really know how we're gonna how we're gonna use our time best. So I'm usually going through the script, trying to plan out the best shooting order because you've got hair and makeup changes or whether we're going to move crew, um, you know, around the house, that sort of thing. Every day, really? <laughs> the music in the background of this, by the way, is pretty fucking dope. I'm jamming. <gasps> your poor, your poor penis. Oh, no. A lot of fun. A lot of hard work. You've got to be some nice people. Yeah. Is, it, is it more fun than work? It's like 50 I don't think they get what you actually do. They think yeah. well, you're on the porn set, you see tits and arse all the time, but they don't actually see that you're working and you're. Graham, I saw so many tits and ass today! Creating a product <laughs> for people to watch. I wasn't always shooting porn no I, I used to be a teacher um, which was a bit of a co weird career change <laughs> and then I worked in a bit of mainstream TV for a while because I wanted to work in production and then I then I started doing porn and that would have been yeah about eight years ago now <laughs> that's fantastic this is the Stern Jesus Show podcast. Creating Whoa. a brighter future. No, not another one. Mopty Post always does that. I squeeze another one in there. Just one at a time. I'm trying to squeeze a bunch in there. As I said, Stern Jesus Show podcast. August 22nd, 2016. Got some weed news coming up. All kinds of shit going on in weed news. It'll be like that until, uh, I know, uh, hot and heavy until November and beyond. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Huge stuff. Massive, massive stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. I'll tell you about all that stuff coming up in Weed News. Stern Jesus Show podcast. We're live on CannabisRadio.com. We're about halfway through the show. 
means we don't have another half to go. For those of you keeping score at home, I know you are. We'll be back, bitches. The Stoner Jesus Show on CannabisRadio.com. The Stoner Jesus Show is brought to you by Celebrity Dildo. Make sure you check out that Celebrity Dildo banner on stonerjesus.net or just go to celebritydildo.com. Celebrity Dildo has released a new and exciting range of premium silicone dildos and have finally combined the two worlds of novelty and function. Celebrity Dildos are made of premium medical-grade silicone. They're firm yet flexible and velvet to the touch. Durable, non-porous, odorless, hypoallergenic, and let's face it, they are just a great conversation piece. If you want to check out Celebrity Dildo, go check out their banner on stonerjesus.net and follow them on all their social media networks. Celebrity Dildo, awesome sponsor of the Stoner Jesus Show. Make sure you check them out on stonerjesus.net. CannabisRadio.com keeps you in the know Monday through Friday on air and on demand with Cannabis Radio News. Presented with the definitive worldwide news source, the Associated Press. Stay informed with exclusive news on all things cannabis. Cannabis Radio News, live weeknights at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, during the Russ Belville Show. Or download the daily podcast exclusively on CannabisRadio.com, as well as iTunes, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. When breaking news happens in the cannabis industry, Cannabis Radio News delivers the details first. Great websites today need expert web design and development and need to be e-commerce ready and mobile friendly. But building a marketable and profitable website can be an uphill climb. Ready to make your new website or replace your existing website? Think Orange as the new way to get in the black. Orange Hill Development works with Fortune 500 companies and offer the same top quality development service at a fraction of what other providers charge. Brands like Absolute, Carlsberg, and Nestle trust Orange Hill Development. Find out why you should trust your website with Orange Hill. Contact Orange Hill for a consultation today at orangehilldevelopment.com. Educator, author, and advocate, Dr. Mitch Earlywine is here to tackle the burning issues. Author Catherine Hiller and her great new book, Just Say Yes, Marijuana Memoir. So I love the way you use time in the memoir. I started at the present time, and I described the visit to my dealer. And then I would go backward in time so that every chapter starts a little bit earlier. I do not feel that marijuana has in any way harmed my life. It certainly hasn't led me to the streets. It's led me to a more joyful life experience. Burning Issues, only on CannabisRadio.com. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here to tell you that the Stoner Jesus Show is moving our live time for the show starting on September 9th, 2016. You can join us for Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus live on CannabisRadio.com. That's 9916 live on CannabisRadio.com, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Morning radio will never be the same. Come Wake and Bake with me, 9916 on CannabisRadio.com. Play as Ted Growing, expelled botany sophomore and the biggest grower in town, only on Weed Firm Replanted. Available on the App Store and Google Play. It's a lot of work being the biggest grower in town. Maintaining a room full of plants while dealing with a slew of eccentric customers, from a hardcore partier to the curious neighbor next door. Is anybody home? Help me expand my bud business by unlocking new strains, customizing my grow room, and completing challenges that you can't get enough of. Grow your empire so big you can see it from space. Low on funds? Don't worry. Weed Firm Replanted is free to download. Download Weed Firm Replanted for free on the App Store and Google Play today. Get growing, Mr. Growing. We love it. I'm Radical Russ Belville, inviting you to join me every weekday on CannabisRadio.com for the Russ Belville Show. It's the NPR of P.O.T. We bring you the latest marijuana headlines, cannabis business analysis, drug war data, activist interviews, radical rants, and your live calls. Join me every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, live only on CannabisRadio.com. 
following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Now, here's cannabis news coverage you can count on. From the Stoner Jesus Show's Cannabis Radio Newsroom, inside the rectory, this is Weed News. Yeah, it is time for Weed News. Stoner Jesus Show podcast, August 22nd. 2016. There we news from Cannabis Tweets on Twitter. It's Cannabis Tweets with a Z. Marijuana initiatives on the ballot in a record nine states recreationally: California, Arizona. Uh, the one in Arizona just withstood a lawsuit. Uh, Nevada to let that come up as well. Massachusetts and Maine. Voters will be asked where they want to legalize the recreational use of marijuana. Meanwhile, Florida, Arkansas, North Dakota will vote on starting the full-fledged medical marijuana programs. And Montana voters will decide whether to loosen restrictions on their state's existing program. There's a couple other states attempting still, but, you know, they're running out of time. It's almost September. November 8th is Election Day. Of course, CanvasRadio.com have all your coverage. You don't have to do anything. Just listen to Canvas Radio. Russ is going to tell you what the fuck's going on everywhere. Just, just chill. You don't have to worry about going to 15 different websites or that bullshit. Uh, voters in Missouri, Michigan, and Oklahoma. Uh, the other one's still working, trying to get something going, but time is running out. Recreational marijuana supporters in Nevada are gearing up for a TV ad blitz. Wind up some $800,000. To get on that shit. They have medical marijuana in Nevada. They're already setting dispensaries up and uh, shit out there over the last few years. We'll see. What else we got? What the fuck was that? Was that my phone? Why didn't I turn down my goddamn phone? Yeah, it's fucking. It's fucking uh, Podcast 101. Turn on your goddamn phone. Why not turn down? There we go. Anyway, Nevada. Trying to legalize recreational, as is their neighbor Arizona. Mentioned a recent lawsuit. Judge rejected a lawsuit. This is from azcentral.com. Marijuana measure will be on the Arizona ballot. And Maricopa County judges ruled Prop 205, which will legalize marijuana for recreational use, can appear on the November ballot. Check that shit out. Maybe. They play the video. A Maricopa County Superior Court judge has decided a ballot measure to legalize marijuana for recreational use in Arizona can appear on the November ballot. Foes of the measure, known as Proposition... Who is this narrator, dude? Sounds like a fucking villain in a Spider-Man movie. Proposition 205 argued in court this month that the pro-campaign is deceiving voters by inadequately describing the details of the measure. Supporters argued they've... What is that little fucking... Uh, little audio glitch? It's annoying the shit out of me. Give me this goddamn wire. I've replaced this wire so many times. Uh, uh, continuing. ...been truthful and that foes are making arguments based on politics and ideology, not the law. Roy Herrera, an attorney for the pro-campaign, told the judge in court, ultimately it's up to voters to decide if the measure is confusing or overreaching. Prop 205 asks Arizona voters to legalize cannabis for recreational use and establishes licensed shops where sales of the drug would be taxed, similar to the system established in Colorado. Is that the computer? It's freaking me out, man. I'm a little weirded out now. That the guy's voice. Other stories up on Canvas Tweets on Twitter. That's Canvas Tweets with a Z. Is big marijuana inevitable? Of course, a lot of people worry about 
big corporations coming in. There's going to be big companies in the marijuana market. You know, the best are going to rise to the top. But people like to think that regulations are going to keep big companies out. Regulations are what big companies use to bludgeon small companies and, and quicker and more efficient competition and bar them and, and hamstring them in the market. Big fucking corporations love regulations because they can bypass that shit. They fucking write the regulations themselves oftentimes because they can withstand the, the resources it takes and, and diverts the small businesses who may have a shot at someday knocking over uh, the big boys, they don't have as much of a chance. So, But there's going to be big marijuana companies no matter what. It's just going to be a thing. It's going to be a big industry. You're talking 30 million regular customers, even getting a good percentage of that to come to retail shops and shit. It's a lot of money, dude. A lot of money. Illinois medical marijuana dispensaries are opening up. There are over 40 now. So that's interesting. Also, Nashville could be on its way to decriminalizing marijuana. There's also a story about Hillary Clinton's pledge to reschedule marijuana to Schedule 2, which is just, uh, it's literally the least you can do. It's, I mean, it's, it's the smallest amount that she can do. It's a little bit more than Obama's done. But it's really the, look at little, the smallest amount she can do. And then, as many people pointed out, including uh, Russ Bell, who proceeds the show, it just puts it just knocks the regulation to the FDA, which you know they're no fucking better than the DEA. So fuck them all. Supreme Court in Connecticut sided with an employee who was fired for smoking marijuana at work. I wrote about this on the SmokingBud dot com today. Apparently, this dude, a uh, maintenance worker, got caught smoking a joint in a state owned vehicle. He's working for one of the universities or whatever. He's been through the fucking ringer in the last four years. Different courts. You know, arbitration said that he was going to be suspended for six months and have probation for a year and drug tests. And then a judge was like, nah, fuck that man. You're fired. So then he got fired. Then the Supreme Court was like, nah, fuck that man to the Superior Court judge and said he's not fired and you should do what the arbitrator said. So, you know, as I point out in the article I wrote, ultimately uh, any kind of employer, and in this case it was like, you know, the state or whatever, uh, or the, the university or whoever the fuck the maintenance people were, um, which I'm sure was a public school, they they can decide whether or not you know, they want somebody getting fucking blazed out driving their vehicle and, you know, representing their company or whatever, or their department or whatever the fuck ever. But in the end, it's more liberty for a cannabis user, so fuck them. Fuck those guys. Blaze up, dude. I mean, what are you, a janitor? Fuck it. You're going to have trouble mopping? <laughs> Fucking shit didn't get mopped, dude. You're high all night. That shit over there, that need to be mopped. This shit needs to be mopped. Does any of this shit look like it's been mopped, motherfucker? No. Look at your eyes. <laughs> They're all fucking red. And nothing's been mopped. Now, I know many people do more than that. They you know, replace light bulbs and shit. <laughs> This last story is from Breitbart.com. Travelers warned not to bring peyote or marijuana creams from Mexico. It's from McAllen, Texas. Authorities in this border city are warning travelers about a series of ointments that have peyote or marijuana as their main ingredients. The drugs are being seized at border entry points from individuals who may not have been aware that they were smuggling actual drugs. According to everyone. According to information provided to Breitbart, Texas, by U.S. Customs and Border Protection, officers at the International Bridges have been encountering the pain creams multiple times in recent days, prompting a travel reminder. Some cross-border travelers to Mexico to seek out a product called peyote gel, which in many cases also contains marijuana as a remedy for muscle, bone, and joint pain, the travel advisor revealed. Yes, get those people. Can fucking marijuana cream? Are you serious? Hippies? While the small plastic jars, continuing with the article, with green ointment appears to be uh, to, innocent, to be innocent folk remedies, in reality they contain highly prohibited substances that could result in travel delays and could lead to more serious consequences since the substances are prohibited by federal law. Let's get that guy in the other thing to read this. 
much more dramatic. CBS Port Director Efren Solis Jr. said it is important that our travelers are aware of what they can bring into the United States from other countries to avoid potential delays. That's right. Is this your fucking marijuana cream? Hippie? Everybody stop. Everybody's delayed. We're looking at this. Ointments, including marijuana or peyote, are considered folk remedies used in the past, primarily by elder residents and water communities. Despite their ancient nature, several residents along the water communities continue to use uh, those types of folk remedies. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Despite their ancient nature, uh, <clears throat> maybe a long time ago they found what worked, and they're like, okay, we're going to stick with this. Nothing came along that worked better. Um, so, you know, if you're coming back from Mexico, which uh, we're probably to ask, what the fuck are you doing in Mexico? <laughs> Watch your peyote gel. They're, they're cracking down on that shit. Fucking be bringing that shit in my house, peyote gel. <laughs> so they're worried. There, there was somebody down there is worried about the peyote gel. They have diverted their attention to fucking peyote gel. Uh, gel makes you wonder if if we get the Trump wall, will, will peyote gel still be a thing? Can, where will we get our peyote gel? We have to make our own. We can't get it from from uh, Mexico anymore. To the fucking Trump wall. Stern and Jesus Show podcast, August 22nd, 2016. Coming up, got stories about comfy balls, as promised. Also, KFC is um, getting into another uh, another um, market, let's say. Stern and Jesus Show podcast. Stay tuned, hoes. On CannabisRadio.com. Hello, my children. Stoner Jesus here to tell you about another awesome sponsor of the show, Kind Soil. Check out the Kind Soil banner on StonerJesus.net or go to KindSoil.com. And also follow at Kind Soil on Twitter. Kind Soil is a 100% organic soil program that feeds your plants from seed to harvest. All you ever do is water your plants. You never use nutrients again. Make sure you check out that Kind Soil banner on stonerjesus.net. Kind Soil allows your plant to feed as it chooses, drink fresh, clean water as it chooses, all while never experiencing burns or growth issues from chemical feeding. Kind Soil produces large, dense flowers soaked in trichomes. Go check it out for yourself, kindsoil.com, or click that Kind Soil banner on stonerjesus.net. We don't limit how much you smoke, and we don't limit where you listen. Cannabis Radio is now on iTunes, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. Oh, let the marijuana llama tell you something now. Bought a game for your phone, gonna make you say, wow. The game's about the game of growing cannabis for cash. Grow the seeds, sell the board, put the savings in the stash. Little by little, your empire grows large. Put the fake celebrities inside your entourage. You can choose to play with Snoop or me or Cheech and Chong. Cypress Hill, Willie Nelson, Wiz Khalifa with a bong. The name of the game is him pink, that's the point. Download and play while you light yourself a joint. Business of cannabis should be no crime. Hemp pink is even hot proved by the man who run high times. Oh yeah, get it on Android and I and iOS today. Marijuana llama out. Got to tend to me on crops, you know. Money don't make itself. Hemp pink. Previously on the Stoner Jesus Show. Uh, St. Peter auditioning to be the Microsoft weed software uh, spokesman. Hey, this is St. Peter for Microsoft. Did they track weed? Does that mean they're going like, to track the weed? Is that what this is about, Jesus? I'm not going to be tracked, Jesus. I'm not going to have my fucking weed tracked. And I'm not going to have fucking Microsoft track me back to my fucking house through my weed to where they fucking spied on people with that goddamn Xbox camera. Fuck this. Fuck Microsoft. Fuck this bullshit. The Stoner Jesus Show. Live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Or find the Stoner Jesus Show podcast on demand at CannabisRadio.com and StonerJesus.net. Peace, bitches. The next generation of vaporizers has arrived. Vuber vaporizers are blazing the way with unparalleled technology for oil, 
concentrate, or dry flower pens. Providing unsurpassed customer service and expert craftsmanship, Vuber Vaporizers use cutting-edge technology, providing a power-packed, smoother vapor with a lifetime guarantee. Experience vaporizing the way it was meant to be, the Vuber way. ready to cut through the smoke and change the tone of Tilk Radio. Hey, this is Tommy Chong. This is Ray Don on the other mic. Yes, the eldest. It was and awesome. we saw, it was called uh, Dying to Know. It's a love story between Ram Dass and Tim Leary. Yeah, the gay Jew and uh, Tim. <laughs> but he wasn't gay when he was a professor. He didn't know. Yeah, that must have been a shock to his wife. <laughs> the one time he, like, met a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> the Tommy Chong Podcast. Welcome to my world. World, world, world. The following CannabisRadio.com program contains explicit language and content that can be considered graphic and offensive. This program is not suitable for all audiences, and the opinions expressed do not reflect those of CannabisRadio.com, its staff, management, or sponsors. Listener discretion is advised. Stoner Jesus Show Podcast, August 22nd, 2016. Don't forget about our big giveaway, Stoner Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway. There's a page for it on stonerjesus.net. Awesome folks at tokersupply.com. Providing the prizes for our giveaway. Go check it out on stonerjesus.net. The Stoner Jesus Show Toker Supply Giveaway page. All the details... As promised, KFC is giving away fried chicken scented sunscreen. What is probably the most sensical pairing to ever exist, the crispy poultry purveyor, is giving away sunscreen that smells like fried chicken. KFC has created a quote, end quote, exclusive and extremely limited run of fried chicken scented sunscreen. It will be available on a first come, first serve basis, according to the press release. Our tagline, the only skin that should be extra crispy this summer is on your fried chicken. Uh, you can go to extracrispysunscreen.com. <laughs> I got to go. I got to go look at extracrispysunscreen.com. Incredible free offer. Oh, they're all gone. Damn. What's the point of that? You had a video. But that was good, too. Are you tired of messy sunscreen? Sick of that awful lotion odor? Do you want to smell like fried chicken? But you're just not hungry. Introducing the KFC Extra Crispy Sunscreen. A real limited edition product that we are giving away for free. It works just like regular sunscreen, but it smells like fried chicken. I'm a lot more popular now. I smell 10 years younger. Let's get a whiff of this stuff. My extra crispy sunscreen doesn't just keep you smelling great. It keeps you feeling delicious. Extra crispy delicious. KFC extra crispy sunscreen. It's real and also do not eat it. Smells like chicken, tastes like sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Get your extra crispy sunscreen now for free. It's definitely real and definitely not edible, so do not eat this. Available for a limited time only. Well, they weren't fucking kidding about the limited time, man. It's gone according to the website. That's a bummer. I'm bummed. Whoops. Are you? No. Going back this way. There we go. (laughs) Go back one more. I find the comfy balls story. I promised you the comfy balls. <laughs> it's from HuffingtonPost.com. Comfy balls underwear deemed too offensive for men, but not for women. It seems the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office has limits when it comes to men's underwear. When Anders Selvig, the founder of a Norwegian brand known as Comfy Balls, tried to register his company's name in the United States, After successfully doing so in 22 countries, 
He couldn't register as a men's underwear company. Uh, the U.S. PTO said comfy balls was too vulgar. Really? Uh, quote, registration is refused because the applied for mark consists and includes of immoral or scandalous material. Holy shit. The office replied declining comfy balls application because of its use of, well, balls in its name. I got a picture. Balls look comfy. The use of balls in this context is in lieu of the word testicles, the USPTO said. The idea behind the mark is that a man's testicles will be comfortable in the applicant's goods. Unfortunately, the word balls has a vulgar meaning to a substantial composite of the general public. So it has to be called comfy testicles? That would be better? The USPTO cited the Random House Dictionary's definition of balls as being vulgar in this contest, as well as the negative reaction to Ben & Jerry's Sweaty Balls ice cream flavor. Uh, that was back in 2013, but the brand didn't give up. They applied again, this time as a woman's underwear brand, and the USPTO issued their certificate this month for a registered trademark. <laughs> this is a milestone for us, a little bit strange maybe, Selvig told Huffington Post in an email. As English is not our native language, we truly understand that the USPTO may have been right on the assumed perceived vulgarity of our men's underwear application, but a layman here and there could certainly argue that comfy balls for women's underwear is equally or more vulgar than the same for men. <laughs> So Comfy Balls, Comfy Balls uh, has a trademark for the women's line, or a copyright for the women's line, and a trademark for their men's line. The only thing is they don't have a women's line quite ready yet. In parallel with realizing that we wouldn't be able to register for men's underwear, we were developing a new women's line. Suvig said adding that the trademark hurdle didn't prevent him from marketing Comfy Balls in the U.S. In a minute, they held off on a big launch, hoping he'd get more buzz on the name Controversy. Okay, let's talk about it. Uh, you can get Comfy Balls through its online shop at ComfyBalls.com, but there are plans to be in store in the future. Well, now i got to look at ComfyBalls.com. Free shipping. Buy three or more, you get 20% off. That's nice. <laughs> hey, they're on, they're on Twitter. That's cool. They have 110 followers on Twitter. <laughs> Where if I can get that Selvig dude on the show to talk about comfy balls? Oh, that would be the shit. I tweet on August 19th, but <clears throat> not much before that. Not much at all. Oh, well, give it a shot. Follow comfy balls on Twitter. <laughs> I'm on Facebook and shit too. Never now. Be a, a get for the show, for an interview. Stoner Jesus Show podcast. Thanks everybody for listening. We'll be back Wednesday night. Uh, Diablo Dean, the director of a new movie. We'll talk more about it Wednesday night. He's going to be on the show. That'll be awesome. So we'll see you all Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't forget, we're only a couple weeks away from the debut of Wake and Bake with Stoner Jesus on CannabisRadio.com. Uh, that's it. Fucking out, man. I ran out of shit. Comfy balls was the end of the line. <laughs> See you all Wednesday. Go check out all the awesome shows on CannabisRadio.com. Find my social media networks. StoneJesus.net. Find the giveaway page for the Big Toker Supply giveaway. Find the Wake and Bake page. You got a countdown clock. The mailing list page, sponsor page. There's a page for sex toys and stories from the road with BJ Sexy Hippie. Go check it all out, stonerjesus.net as well. as recent episodes of the Stoner Jesus Show. Thanks, everybody, for listening. And as always, peace, bitches.